How'd you feel about taking a little test? Test? You mean the Voight Kampf? Yeah, I don't think you're a rep, but I want Hey, hey, hey! You don't have to explain. I always wanted to see the machine in action. Go on, set it up! Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? Downtown, fourth sector. Hey, this is great. Should I be sitting any special way? Just relax. What do you do for a living? I sell donuts. Come on, is the whole thing gonna be this dull? Just answer the questions as truthfully as you can. What's your name? Bob Gorski. This ain't no different than a DMV. Just a sec. A man dressed in rags approaches you on the street and asks for money. I tell him to get a job. Ain't he heard there's a labor shortage around here? You're crying. Why is that? What kind of candy-ass question is that? It's meant to provoke a reaction. Reaction, huh? Well, I ain't crying. Next question. Out of the corner of your eye, you see a large black spider crawling up the wall. Where? They're worth a mint, even with only half their legs. It's just hypothetical. Hypo what? There's no spider. Well, why did you say so then? Let's keep going. Are you taking any drugs? Hey, I get tested every week. For your anniversary, your spouse gives you a real goldfish. I want a hamster. Well, it's a fish. She better damn well get me what I want. You return from work to find that your home has been burglarized. The son of a bitch who robs me is dead. Kablam! No fooling around! And after, you feel... Good. Real good. When did you stop beating your spouse? As soon as she shut up. Took about half an hour. Using the first words that come into your mind, describe your childhood. Peaceful. Really? Sure. Once I took the axe to my ma. Joke. That's a joke. <laughs> Boy, you should have seen your face. <laughs> you notice someone attractive across the room. In your dreams, pretty boy. You're having a very erotic dream. Am I wearing camouflage? I like camouflage. You're suddenly very afraid. Why? Must be the stuffed animals again. Yeah, they're freaky. They like animals, but they got stuff in them. Your best friend has done something to make you angry. I know. I hate that son of a bitch. It's the first day of school and the teacher calls on you. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> How old are you? 35. And still young enough to kick your ass. Describe in single words only the good things that come into your mind about your mother. Cheerful, happy? Ah, lightweight. She was easy to carry. Your child comes home with a black eye. Bear Giovanna. He's a good kid. Everyone's got to get bloodied sometimes. You suddenly feel the urge to commit suicide. <laughs> I guess I picked the right line of work. A teacher calls you stupid in front of the rest of the class. Yeah, I remember that, bitch. What's the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you? I don't know. I busted up a guy's face once. He was in the hospital for two weeks. I meant to kill him, so that was kind of embarrassing. You're seven years old. You managed to steal several marshmallows from the kitchen and sneak them back to your bedroom. You're caught, and your father spanks you. Good for him. You've been drafted into the army. During a boot camp hazing, you're bound, blindfolded, and forced to eat worms. The poor little guys. 
That's the army for you. Chew you up and spit you out. You know what I mean? You're having dinner at a friend's home. Halfway through the appetizer, he tells you that you've been eating goose liver pate. I beat the crap out of him. You're visiting the dentist. At the receptionist's desk is a huge bowl of fresh cut flowers. Flowers? So what? It's illegal to pick them. They ain't animals. We eat plants. Actually, they're organic. Flowers aren't like soya. They're endangered. They need sunlight, fresh air. They ain't gonna get it around here. I think they're all gone anyway. You seen a single goddamn flower in the last 10 years? Yeah. Once. You see a documentary about 20th century tuna boats. At the end, you feel like taking up fishing. <laughs> yeah, sure. Saw a show about Fred Astaire last night. Didn't make me want to take up dancing. You pour yourself a drink. Every time you finish one, you have another until you vomit. You wake up hungover and depressed. Harry the dog will take care of that. Man, that takes me back. Let's continue. You're giving a speech to a crowd of hundreds. First, one person starts to laugh. Why? You tell me. Finish the question. He leans over and says something to the people around him. Soon the whole audience is roaring with laughter and pointing at you. I don't like it when people laugh at me. Nobody does. No, I mean I really don't like it. You're watching TV. Suddenly you notice a wasp crawling on your wrist. They sting, right? I think so. You gotta love it. Pain builds character. In a magazine, you come across a full-page photo of a nude girl. I'm gonna like this one. The girl is lying on a bearskin rug. Oh man, why'd you have to ruin it? I guess I'm gonna have to rip up the magazine. You're given a calfskin wallet for your birthday. I want a hamster. Ain't you been paying attention? You have a little boy. He shows you his butterfly collection, plus the killing jar. I beat some sense into him, and then toss the collection. You're at a restaurant with friends. One of them orders lobster. The chef drops the lobster into the tub of boiling water while you watch. I kicked the crap out of the sicko. You rent a mountain cabin. On the wall, someone has hung old maps and Courier and Ives prints. I'm not much for art. A deer's head is mounted above the fireplace. A full stag with developed horns. I burn it. Burn the whole damn place to the ground. You see an oversized book with pictures of exotic animals on the cover. The title is Big Game Hunting in Zaire. I'd burn the book. Let me finish. Curious, you flip it open. There's a picture of a man standing with his foot on a dead cape buffalo. You find yourself fascinated. You keep paging through it, seeing picture after picture of animals laid to waste, each more gruesome than the last. So this is how this test goes, huh? You asking me sick questions. It's designed to provoke you. Is that right? I've had enough, McCoy. You've been kidnapped. Your captors tell you that you'd better think about what you did to deserve this. No, they'd better think about what they did to deserve it. Because they'll slip and I'll be ready. What do you think it's like to be a replicant? Scary. Really? Hey, if every right-thinking citizen was out to waste my ass, yeah, I'd be scared. You're going to die. It may be soon. Death, the grave, rot, it may be soon. The readouts don't lie, you're scared. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. You laughing at me? It's just a test. You better not be laughing. You're in a desert, walking along in the sand, when all of a sudden you look down and see a tortoise. It's crawling towards you. You reach down and flip the tortoise on its back. Is that right? tortoise lays on its back, its belly baking in the hot sun. 
beating its legs, trying to turn itself over. But it can't. Not without your help. But you're not helping. Why is that? Put your toys away, McCoy. I've had enough. You're watching an old movie. It shows a banquet in progress. The guests are enjoying raw oysters. The entree consists of boiled dog. Damn. You know, I'm getting to be an old man, and I ain't gonna tell you I've never eaten meat. But even back when I was a kid, that would have made most people sick. I'd stop watching the movie. You're on a farm. You get into the pen to feed the pigs. In their excitement, the animals knock you down into the mud. Using a butcher knife, you slit the throat of the nearest sow. You're covered in blood as you stumble to your feet. Now why the hell would I do something like that? You tell me. No way. I serve my time. I've opened men up from belly to throat. But butchering animals? This test ain't right. Like my briefcase? Department issue. Baby hide. 100% genuine human baby hide. That's supposed to scare me? Not scare, just shock. Provoke a reaction. I heard worse in the wars. Hell, I done worse. Inconclusive result. Test terminated. So that's it? Yeah. Since you didn't shoot me, <laughs> I must have registered okay. Yeah, it was touch and go there for a while. Well, you know, I think about skin jobs all the time. Try to get into their heads. Maybe that's what the deal is. <laughs>